Mr. President, Mrs. Reagan, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you, Mr. President and Mrs. Reagan, for this welcome ceremony and for the warmth with which my wife and I, and I, along with the members of my entourage, have been received here. I also wish to convey to you and through you to the government and people of the United States greetings and good wishes of the government and people of Nepal. For me, it is also a nostalgic moment. I recall with fondness the time I had stood by my august father, late King Mahendra, on a similar occasion in a similar setting here in 1967. I do not feel a complete stranger to this land. Indeed, I come to you in the spirit of a friend who has had the benefit of studying in one of your leading institutions of learning. Inspired as Nepal and the United States are by the common goals of striving for freedom and dignity of man, it is also a fulfilling experience for me to be back here again. Mr. President, few things in the history of man have been as eventful as the discovery of this new found land. It gave birth to a republic known not only for its inspiring ideals, but also for the most epoch-making feats of scientific endeavor. Viewed from this angle, America stands on the very forefront of modern history. Indeed, what the United States represents is a harmonious amalgam of high human and material achievements rarely surpassed elsewhere in the world. As a nation that has brought about such profound changes, it is only natural to look up to this country in joining hands with the rest of the world to herald a new age of peace, understanding, friendship, and prosperity for all. Committed as we are in Nepal to these ideals, we hold you, Mr. President, in high esteem and wish to see the United States as a bulwark of peace and stability, cherishing the belief that all nations of the world, whether big or small, rich or poor, developed or developing, must have a place under the sun. It is in this spirit that I look forward to exchange views with you, Mr. President, on matters of future interest. I also hope to meet other leaders and seek the opportunity to renew my acquaintances with friends that I have known. I'm confident that our visit to this country will be fruitful as well as memorable. Thank you.